Hi guys, hope you're well. I'm gonna show you how to make the most delicious crispy lamb flatbreads with a rainbow slaw. We're celebrating leftover lamb. And actually you could use any leftover roasted meats. So let's do this. We've got 150 grams of self-raising flour. Into this, we're gonna add a good pinch of sea salt and then go in with about 110 milliliters of cold water. I'm gonna use a fork in a little bowl to mix this up. And if the dough is just a little bit too wet, you can add some flour. If it's a bit too dry, you can add a little bit more water. So move the bowl around. You can see it going from a kind of little slurry to a light dough. At that point, we can go from using the fork to using our hands. What we want is a nice, pliable, elastic, soft dough. And I'll just give it a nice little knead like that, right? It's nice and smooth. And I can just leave that here now to rest while I show you the principles of a beautiful rainbow slaw. And this is a great opportunity to talk through how quick and brilliant a little box grate a slaw can be. Any leftover veggies that are crunchy, you can celebrate and use. There's things like carrots. I go to this thick side of a box grater and I try and do long strokes. You really don't need much of each vegetable. Bit of white cabbage, bit of red cabbage, fennel, bit of posher but really nice, crunchy, aniseed, little bit of radish. Okay, so we have our box grater slaw. What a celebration of color. So to make that really sing, we're gonna hit this hard with lemon juice, a little herb like mint. We'll hit it up with some salt. If you want to give it a little kiss of olive oil, you can. And I won't toss that until the last minute. Now, pan is hot, slaw is done, dough is done. This is super quick stuff, guys. Just take a little bit of extra flour and we'll just dust it lightly like that. So what I wanna do is roll this out with a rolling pin, about kind of a centimeter, half a centimeter thick. I quite like to really feel that pan, so we'll go quite wide. This pan is very hot and I'm just gonna literally pick it up and I'm gonna put it straight into there dry, like that. Push it out to the edges and just let the heat do its thing. All these little bubbles here, that's texture, and that's gonna soak up flavor and all sorts of gorgeous things. So give that 30 more seconds while I cut up the lamb here. Now, there's something beautiful about leftover meat that is really, really divine. You get that extra flavor. I'm just gonna cut it up badly, like wonky, right? So I'll put that back on this little plate. Now what I wanna do is just flavor it nice and delicately. Here, I've got some beautiful ground coriander. It's really nice, a good pinch about a teaspoon. If you've got herbs, thyme, rosemary, great, but I love dried oregano. I'll just crumble over the top. The bread here, I'm just gonna turn it. Should be nicely charred, look at that. Now I've got lemon, just a little bit of zest. Fresh flavors, don't waste anything, right? Absolutely amazing. And then I'm just gonna kiss it with just a little olive oil and salt and pepper and almost dress the leftover lamb. Let's have a little look at this flatbread. If I just turn it out on here, Beautiful. So I'll just put that to the side just for a second and we're now going to go into the pan with the lamb. I want it to be golden, kind of overcooked, crispy, gnarly. I'm going to take just a little bit of lemon juice and go into the pan right, for that fresh acidity. So sour. But what goes well with sour? Sweet. A teaspoon of honey and you're going to get the most shiny contrast, sweet and sour herby, fragrant, and then we go back in with our bread. And you can just like give it a little wash, push it down, be careful of course, and then onto the board. That's what we're after. Look at that, it's just sizzling away. Yes, I've made a little bit of mess. So with that, I take my slaw and at the last minute, just lightly dress it and just put that in the middle. Look at the colors, guys. And any leftovers, we can kind of put that on the board. What I love to do is just take, you know, some lovely Greek yogurt and then just have a little bit more of that ground coriander. That is it. Ah, no, it's not. <laughs> Chili sauce. I can't help it. You don't have to do it. There you go. That is a super quick leftover celebration of lamb flatbreads in minutes, rainbow slaw that's fresh and full of the good stuff. Normally I just roll it and get it in there, but let's just do it. Wow. The lamb parts are so gnarly. Mmm. Mmm. What I love is the sponginess of the bread soaks up all the juices of the lamb. So good. Go on guys, good luck, take care. 
and happy cooking.